New tonight, a Knoxville zoologist is making a difference from East Tennessee to Madagascar. His work to save endangered tortoises spans years, and now a devastating flood has put his mission to the test. Our reporter Sarah Ottman joins us with that story and how you can be a part of that rescue mission. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Katie. Yeah, more than 10,000 endangered tortoises were washed away by a cyclone in Madagascar after their sanctuary flooded. These are the same turtles that Zoo Knoxville experts had rescued back in 2018. Steven Nelson has dedicated his career to protecting endangered reptiles. As Zoo Knoxville's herpetology collection and conservation manager, his work goes beyond the local habitat, reaching all the way to Madagascar. I think as, as professional zookeepers, um, I, I think we obviously want to help as many animals as we can, right? I, I happen to be a herpetologist, so I focus on reptiles and amphibians, and some of it's just happenstance. Nelson first went to Madagascar in 2018 after authorities confiscated 10,000 radiated tortoises from a house being used for illegal wildlife trafficking. He helped set up the Lava Volo Tortoise Center, a safe haven for the rescued animals. Built this center out of the out of the desert, it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, so we helped triage those tortoises, and then more recently, I went back in 2022 to help with the team do health assessments. But this year, disaster struck. A cyclone brought torrential rains, flooding the sanctuary and sweeping thousands of tortoises away. And just as they were starting to put things back together, move tortoises back down, they actually experienced another flood about five or six days later. So it went back to back. Rescuers have recovered more than 10,000 tortoises, but the infrastructure was destroyed. Nelson says the work to rebuild is critical and support from Knoxville is helping make it happen. I th when folks come out to the zoo, when they buy tickets, when they're members, that helps. Conservation takes money. It costs money to do stuff. So folks coming out, they help that just come to the zoo. Nelson says although he could not be in Madagascar during the floods, he plans to go back and continue his work to rebuild in April. The zoo also has an Amazon wish list for the Radiator Tortoise program. You can find out more on our website. Katie. All right, Sarah, thank you. Now